Hey guys, it is grocery day. I am back in the kitchen. Keep watching if you wanna see what is going on our table this week. Okay guys, I have a huge haul today. Um, Sam and I are leaving for Israel. My kids are gonna be here with my parents. And I just wanna make sure that they have everything that they need. That way there's not that, you know, extra thing that they have to do outside of taking care of the kiddos and getting them here and there and homework and all the things. So let me get at it. I will show you all the things that I got. Um, I have things from both Hy-Vee and Target. I had to do kind of a double run today. It was kind of the last, the last run before we leave. And so I will show you everything that I got. I got some potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna be using these two ways. I have a potato casserole as well as potato soup. They had the Annie's uh, macaroni and cheese on sale today, 10 for 10, and so I got 10. Uh, if you watched my morning routine, you know that I do a lot of macaroni and cheese for my kids' lunches because they can't use a microwave at school, and so I have to have things that will go into a thermos. And so this is the perfect thing. I can just make it really fast in the morning and stick it into their thermos and then it's warm uh, until it's lunchtime. Then I got some cream of mushroom soup. This is the organic uh, hy V brand. I got some sliced olives for pizza. Yes, um, I could have gotten the whole ones and just sliced them myself, which I normally do, but these were actually cheaper today than the um, just whole olives. I got some Earth Balance, the creamy style. I really like this one. Um, there's not a lot of carbs and sugar and all of that stuff. I just really like that brand. I got some green beans to have as a side, so I'm gonna go ahead and make those up tomorrow. Uh, I needed some uh, northern beans, black beans, chili beans, and kidney beans for a chili that I'm going to be making. I needed peppers, so I grabbed those. Uh, Spanish rice. I was just kind of looking for something super fast that I could do and put um, in a container in the refrigerator and just have it totally done. I've used this before and it's actually pretty good. Um, I mix some things in it just to kind of season it up a little bit, but honestly today it was strictly for convenience. I needed some whole milk for a couple recipes and then I went ahead and grabbed a couple more of the reduced fat uh, organic milk. That's just the high V brand. And then Chloe really likes this orange, peach, and mango um, juice, so I grabbed that. I needed some broccoli for a side um, for one of our meals, or one of their meals, rather. And then some um, spaghetti sauce for a spaghetti casserole. And then another side. I already had um, two sweet potatoes, so I needed to get three more. That way they would have enough and maybe a little bit extra for lunches. So I grabbed those and then uh, cream cheese. That is actually going in the potato soup. I needed some elbow macaroni for macaroni and cheese. I grabbed some Quest bars uh, for Sam and I on the airplane or for traveling just in case, you know, I, I don't really know what to expect. And so if we're ever hungry or not close to food, um, I just have those to stick in my backpack. I got some dry roasted macadamia nuts. Those will also go in my backpack to take. I got one more strawberry. I already had two containers in there, but I wanna go ahead and cut those all up and put them in little containers. That way they're all ready for lunches. Um, I am going to do a snacks and lunch video for you guys. I was hoping to get it done before I left, but it just didn't happen. So when I come back, I will show you guys how I package uh, snacks for after school and um, for lunches and things like that. I got some cotton candy grapes. Christian absolutely loves these. I got some plain bagels. These are just the mini size. Chloe really likes these for breakfast with cream cheese. 
Then I got some uh, Land O'Lakes butter with olive oil and sea salt. I really, really like this one and it's not full of a bunch of junk, so I feel okay uh, eating it and using it and giving it to my family. I got some gluten-free brownies um, just for them to kind of have throughout the week after supper or to send with lunches, whichever they prefer. Um, but since Chloe has a gluten sensitivity, um, these work really well with her. I got some uh, panko breadcrumbs for the top of the macaroni and cheese. And then some flour tortillas for enchiladas. I also got some brown rice pasta uh, spaghetti for the spaghetti casserole. And I needed some more eggs for putting all of this together. And then I needed more um, cheese as well for all of these recipes. So I got some mozzarella, sharp, and Colby Jack. And then I needed enchilada sauce for the enchiladas. I needed um, more syrup for the pancakes that I'll be making. We just make them like two batches and then I freeze them. That way the kids can just put them in the toaster in the morning. I got some of the teriyaki chicken and strips. So because Chloe is vegetarian, I will just kind of take out a little portion of the recipe before I put the meat in. That way she can kind of have her portion of vegetarian and we can have what we're eating. That way I'm essentially not having to make like two different meals. I got one more box of the Blueberry Vans gluten-free waffles just so that they can have kind of for something different in the morning outside of the muffins and pancakes. And then uh, pears for breakfast, lunch, snack. I grabbed some whipped uh, cream cheese. That's actually for the bagels for breakfast. And then I needed one more ground beef, so I grabbed that. And then I wanted just a really easy way to, you know, kind of make my meals tomorrow where there's not a lot of cleanup and, um, you know, just that way it's, it's not a big hassle for my parents. I'm making it out like my parents don't want to do anything. That's totally not the case. Um, they are more than willing and able to do so, but I just know that once you've been out of, and this isn't their first time that they've done this, by the way, um, watched our kids, but once you get out of that routine of like, you know, doing evenings and mornings with kiddos, it can be a little bit. So I'm just trying to make it as easy for them as possible. So I got these um, loaf pans. I'm going to put the sides in here. They have a lid and then this way they can just warm them up in the afternoon for supper. So I grabbed that size and then this is just the uh, cake pan size and there's three of those, three of these and then I got uh, two of the rectangular cake pans and like I said all of these have lids so they can go into the refrigerator I can write on the lids with the instructions and all of that and it just makes it super easy so now we are getting into um, well I guess this this is from Hy-Vee so Sam needed some shaving cream that was uh, travel size and I saw this one and I was like well that's kind of interesting so I wanted to uh, give this a try but it's uh, caffeinated shaving cream it's antioxidant rich natural naturally derived caffeine put caffeine on your mug not in it I don't know friends um, it's there's not a lot of junk in it and so um, I thought we'd give it a shot and, and see how it works. Now we're into my Target run. I needed some more deodorant, so I got this Love Beauty and Planet. Uh, this is the coconut oil and ylang ylang. And I haven't tried this one before. I'm, I'm really kind of excited to try it. I tried that Tom's, that stuff, that just did not work well for me. So I'm going to see how this other one does. Uh, I got the Axe Apollo Just Deodorant uh, for Sam. And then the kids needed some floss, so I got these little um, flossers for them. I'll just split them in half and put them in each of their bathrooms. I needed two more little travel containers uh, for my packing. 
And then these are the containers that I put the strawberries and the pears and things like that that need to be refrigerated after being cut up. I just fill these up throughout the week, put them in the fridge. That way there is no real you know, effort in eating something healthy as a snack versus cookies. And so I'm gonna get those all taken care of. I needed some um, storage size, or I'm sorry, gallon sized storage bags. And I needed some more of the portion control snacks. I really like these for packaging um, snacks and treats for lunches. Uh, they're just kind of the perfect size versus the bigger, longer one. So I really like those. Then I needed some Reynolds um, plastic wrap. I like this one because it has a cutter on it and so you just pull out the amount that you need and then you slide this little thing over and it just cuts it for you and you're good to go. I also needed some aluminum foil. I grabbed these for Chloe. Um, I'm starting to put together their Easter baskets, which yes, I will do a video on that if you would like. If you would just comment Easter down below, then that way I know that that's something that you guys want to see and that I'm not wasting your time by putting that up when you really don't wanna see it. Uh, I got Christian some pajamas for his Easter basket. Um, I just got the pants, they were separate, and then I just buy a t-shirt. Um, that kind of matches with the pants. I just find that that's a lot cheaper. And he doesn't really wear pajamas anymore anyway, unless you know he's like lounging around the house on a Sunday or at night before he goes to bed or whatever. So that's perfect for him. And then I got Chloe this really cute little gown with the um, ruffle sleeves. And it just says, wake up with the sun. I got some gum for the airplane. And then we needed toilet paper. That way everybody was fully covered, pun intended, uh, while we are gone. And we needed more wipes just around the house and in the cars and in my backpack for when we go. So I got those. Uh, I needed to get my sister a birthday gift, her birthday. Uh, we're gonna celebrate it on Friday. So I got her the uh, Lauren Daigle um, Look Up Child. I love her. So I found her on YouTube about a year ago before she really hit it big. And I mean, she's like the Adele of Christian songwriting. And I just, I love the words and the depth of her songs. I love her tone, um, her sound. And so I thought this would be really good for my sister because she loves Adele. I got her this really, really soft um, sweatshirt and I like it because, I'll try to show you here, it's longer in the back than it is in the front. So this is the front and then this is the back and so it just you know covers up your bum but it is so, so soft on the outside and the inside. So I think she'll like that. She doesn't like things that are like, she's like Chloe. I don't want anything itchy or scratchy. Um, and then I got her this card. It just says, enjoy the day. And on the inside, celebrating you on your birthday for about a thousand reasons, all of them wonderful, just like you. And this was just over in the like $1.29 or $1.99 card section. Um, that's typically where I go for cards because I don't want to spend a ton of money on a card that somebody honestly is going to pitch. So I try to find the really cute discount ones. I needed some more thank you cards. So I saw these and grabbed those. I thought those were really cute. And then I just got one of the um, kind of less expensive bags. You know, there's like this one and then striped ones and plain ones. I always go for these and then I just add colored uh, tissue paper to just kind of spice it up, but I'm I'm sorry. I don't care who you are I'm not spending five dollars on a gift bag for you. I'm just not unless you're Jesus. I saw this wreath and Absolutely loved it. I'm Starting to get things together to do a front porch decor tutorial whatever and so I'm starting to get things together I saw this loved it I'm going to add some things to it like some greenery kind of spilling out over it But I will show you guys all that in another video. Don't mind the noise. My kids are playing outside 
So I grabbed this and then I also got this wrapping paper. Um, throughout the year, I tend to buy wrapping paper like this that is more neutral and that can pretty much go with everything. That way at Christmas time, I can kind of swap um, paper like this in with my Christmas paper. That way I'm not having to, um, number one, buy so much Christmas paper. And number two, I just kind of like the texture of having you know something like this up against like your your Christmas wrapping. That way it's not just so much overload. I kind of like the contrast between the two. So I just picked a couple of those up, two or three throughout the year. And then um, these two things were actually from Hy-Vee, but they were clear on the other side of the counter. So the doggies needed some more food. We get the Pure Harmony grain-free. Um, it's got the salmon. And I like this one because it's no corn, wheat, or soy. No byproducts, no preservatives, um, antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, all of that. But we find that a lot of the other ones, um, when we first got our dogs, it was bothering their stomach. And the vet told us, you know, if you try a grain-free one, you're probably going to find that that is a lot more tolerable for them. And then lastly, um, I got some waters. I get the eight ounces for the kids' lunches. That way they can have one every day for um, their lunch at school. It fits perfect in their bag. It's not super heavy and it's just the right amount for them to be able to finish at lunchtime and not have any excess. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. That just helps me know what kind of content you want me to continue to film. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, click on that red subscribe button down below and join our community here on YouTube. I post videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I would love to have you here with me. And while you're at it, click on that bell, and what that does is it just notifies you every time that I have new content. Until next time, friends, I just encourage you to intentionally create a life that you absolutely love living and will not need a vacation from. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.